Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Chris. Today is all about the cinnamon girl aesthetic. No, that does not mean fragrances that contain a lot of cinnamon. It is an aesthetic vibe that became popular along with the strawberry girl used to describe a certain aesthetic. The strawberry girl loves the simple, playful, quiet life in the country, loves pops of color, pinks and whimsical reds, whereas the cinnamon girl or the cinnamon person, because I have lots of male followers, is somebody who is more contemplative, is coquettish, loves a fall palette, tweed jackets, cozy sweaters. It is a cozy vibe. They love the finer things but appreciate a vintage flair like listening to old records and actually reading a book. I thought this would be a fun video, a different take on a lot of the same old, same old perfume videos that you see in the fall. And I did a quick little Google on YouTube and nobody's done the Cinnamon Girl perfume aesthetic. So I thought this would be a fun video. So these fragrances are all about warm, cozy, aesthetic perfumes that are great in the colder weather. They're warm and cozy, they're modern, but sometimes they have a little bit of a vintage flair. Great with a turtleneck or a tweed jacket and a cup of chai. And with that, let's just get started. So one of the first perfumes I picked out for this video was this little beauty right here. It's called Starlight by Zerjoff. Definitely one of my favorite Zerjoff perfumes. It is such a warm and cozy perfume. And it's great for the upcoming holidays because it has these wonderful baking spices. So this is a beautiful cardamom fragrance. So there's cinnamon, almond, clove, vanilla. It is 100% gourmand, but it's not overly sweet. This is light and heavy at the same time and also very spicy. So this reminds me of a vanilla almond sponge cake with a chai latte in the background with those heavy chai spices. It's very, very holiday to me. I It reminds me a lot of, oh, what is that? Remember Me, that's why I don't have that one. They are very, very similar. They're not exactly the same, but they're similar. So if you have that one, you know what this smells like and you don't need this one. I think this one is a little bit heavier on the spices, personally. I absolutely love it. One of my subscribers told me about this perfume about two years ago. And I have, and it was a love at first sniff, beautiful. So the first perfume is Starlight. The next one I love for this type of aesthetic is Silky Woods by Goldfield and Banks. And this is one of those perfumes that was a grow to love. When I first smelled it, I liked it a lot, but I didn't come to love it until I tried it for the second, maybe the third time, particularly in the colder months. I don't like to, I don't think this is great for the warmer months. This is that perfect, cozy, colder weather aesthetic. Now, couldn't you wear it year round? Absolutely. So for those who haven't tried it, this is a warm, fuzzy, vanillic, woody perfume with a heavy dose of suede. It does have that cinnamony tobacco vibe going on, but it, this one does not smell like apple pie, like a lot of fragrances with those notes. This also has oud and it's not the typical oud. It is a very light, easy to take oud. It's it's a smoky oud. I like that oud. I like a clean oud and I like a smoky oud. Nothing barnyardy, nothing animalic. So the suede note is very warm. It almost has a little smoky touch. So as it dries down, it gets a little bit more sweet, a little bit more powdery and the woods come out the most. I love this perfume for this type of a warm and cozy aesthetic and this one has great performance. The next one I thought would be great for this aesthetic is by Private Mood and this is called So Vanilla. I was so, I got the whole discovery set, but I'm not gonna lie, I was so drawn to this perfume because it's a citrusy vanilla that contains the note of gingerbread. Hello, I was all over it. This is a delicious gourmandy vanilla. This to me, and it has a very prominent citrusy aspect to it. So this is like a melted creamsicle. Like you melted a creamsicle and warmed it up and then you dunked a gingerbread cookie in it. So it's very gourmand, but it's not sickly sweet. It does have a freshness to it because of those citruses. And the gingerbread note just gives it some warmth and a little bit of spiciness. Perfect for the winter, perfect for the fall. And actually, if you live somewhere where it's cold, perfect for the spring. Now, it's not a full-blown gourmand because it does have some florals in the background. So if you're very, very sensitive to those white flowers like orange blossom and neroli, definitely get a sample because I can detect it but they're way in the background. The stars are the vanilla, the citruses, and that beautiful gingerbread note. So I love 
So Vanilla by Private Mood. So another terrific, spicy, vanillic fragrance that is great for this cozy aesthetic is another Dominique Ropion creation. I'm starting to think that Dominique Ropion may be my favorite nose. It was Francis Cartagena for the longest time. Dominique Ropion and Quentin Biche are up there right now, but Dominique Ropion created this beautiful fragrance called Infinite Sky for Estee Lauder. Now this is a warm, spicy vanilla, and it has this interesting note of Sichuan pepper. So it's peppery, but not in the sense of the typical black pepper that makes people sneeze. And pink pepper, it doesn't have a pink pepperiness. This is definitely that Sichuan pepper, and this might be the year for the Sichuan pepper for me, because I think I have four perfumes now that feature that note. But it is, so it's slightly zingy, it's slightly peppery, and a slightly vegetal. It gives it a nice kind of a zesty, warmth, which is very fitting because the point of view of this perfume is you are sitting at the end of the day, maybe outside as the sun is going down. The feeling you have when the sun is going down and it heats you up, it gives you this nice radiant warmth is what Infinite Sky is all about. So it is this beautiful, very spicy, woody vanilla. And in the dry down, the woods come out even more, you know, like sandalwood or cedar or maybe both. It's very woody has a great spiciness to it and the vanilla that's not really a gourmand vanilla, but definitely gives it a little bit of a sweetness. I absolutely love this and performance is fantastic for this beautiful, spicy, warm and cozy, little bit zingy, woody vanilla. The next one I am so excited about showing. It is a perfume I've had for several months and I have been waiting to put it in a video because it really is so unique. And it's by a fragrance house, an indie fragrance house that I have come to love several fragrances. That house is Coastal Carolina and the fragrance is Victorian Vanilla. How cute, how cute is that? It's got a little Victorian label. So this is such a perfect perfume for this aesthetic. It's warm, it's cozy, it's an ambery vanilla. It has a little bit a little bit of a citrusy flair. There's something a little bit citrusy, maybe mandarin in the background. It has a little booziness to it. There is just something so warm and cozy about this perfume and it, and it has a little bit, a little bit of a spiciness. Probably, I would guess maybe nutmeg or cinnamon. It's in there, but it's on the lighter side. It's in the background a little bit of muskiness and it gets slightly powdery in the dry down. I wore this to work a couple weeks ago and I mean, everybody loved it on me. They didn't smell it till they got right up on me and they said, oh, you smell so good. I think the comments were warm, sweet and cozy, but not overly sweet. So this is a great one. And the owner of this fragrance house so kindly gifted me, and I just realized this is the iris one, gifted me a a 10 ml travel spray as a giveaway for you guys. So if you're interested, let me know below if you're interested in finding out about this perfume. If I can't track down my travel spray, I will decant any five of these, including, one including, will be Victorian vanilla. But this is such a great perfume from a great house and it just fits this cozy aesthetic to a T. So apparently cinnamon girls or cinnamon people <laughs> or people who love the cinnamon girl aesthetic vibe love tea they love spices and i have a perfume that i've had forever that i've never showed it's called calotype and this is for my cardamom lovers this is a cardamom bomb i bought this because it has rice in it i want to say rice powder or rice milk but that is not the star of the show the star of the show is a beautiful spiciness it's cardamom heavy so it does smell like masala chai spicy woody a little bit peppery slightly sweet, maybe a touch, a touch of sweet tobacco, a little bit of a freshness, like a little bit of lemon, like you had a bunch of loose masala chai sitting in front of you and a slice of lemon way in the background. Has a beautiful woody base. It's gonna be sandalwood or maybe cedar. It's a lovely perfume, slightly lighter wearing, but perfect for those cinnamon girls. Great for that cinnamon aesthetic because cinnamon girls love tea, particularly chai. I'm a huge fan of tea, particularly chai, chai latte, and a perfect perfume for this aesthetic. I really enjoy this perfume. I tend to wear it at night. It's just so warm and cozy. Another perfume that fits this aesthetic to a tea, including this adorable bottle, 
is Babylon by Penhaligans. I just love their bottles, but better yet, I love basically, I love most of their perfumes and the juice on the inside. Again, so this is a perfect fragrance for this aesthetic because it is a warm, spicy vanilla. And this has those baking, this has those baking spices that I love. So this is so warm and woody and spicy and vanilla. So this is a great perfume for those who don't want to smell like food, who are interested in vanilla, like vanilla in general, but don't want a foody vanilla and enjoy a woody vanilla with a little bit of non-overly sweet spices. So very warm and delicious. It's more spicy and vanillic in the opening, but as it dries down, those woods really come out. So this is a lovely woody perfume. It reminds me of something. It definitely shares a lot of similarities with um, Bouquet Ideal by Zerjoff. So if you have one, you really do not need the other. And I would say performance on Bouquet, performance on Bouquet Ideal is, is not great on me. I get better performance on Babylon. So I love this one for this type of aesthetic. What do we have next? Oh, I know which one I'm gonna pull next. It's the perfect perfume for this aesthetic. It's from Barisa L. Legrand. I've shown these bottles before. They have the most beautiful vintage flair with this tassel. I just love them. This is a an amber. This is a beautiful amber. So a super pretty resinous vanillic amber that has the slightest touch of a vintagey flair. It reminds me of something. Something from the past. I cannot tell you what it is, but it doesn't smell vintagey. It just has this lovely, slightly retro vibe to it. It's sweet, it's warm, it's comforting. There is something a little bit elegant about it. You could dress this, you could dress this up or dress it down. I would wear this when I was really dressed up or I would wear this sitting at home with a fluffy sweater and jeans. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite ambers. Oh my goodness, another perfect fragrance for this aesthetic is the beauty I hold right here. It is by the Merchants of Venice and is called Andalusian Soul. And this is a boozy, buttery, almost butterscotchy vanilla. So the notes to me were terrifying. I didn't try it forever. In fact, one of my friends sent me a sample. I, if I had just looked at the notes, I would have never tried it based on the notes because it has like rosemary, and civet, and those don't always work for me, particularly civet, but the way they come together, they make this beautiful butterscotchy, ambery vanilla. To me, this smells like a butterscotch scone or a butterscotch biscuit, or a biscuit drizzled in like a butterscotch glaze. It is just so lovely and scrumptious, and it gets really, really warm and smooth and somewhat soft in the dry down. It gets more woody and I think it has suede. So that suede kind of comes out in the end. So it starts more gourmandy and it ends more like a sweet, vanillic, ambery, woody suede. Get your nose on it if you haven't. This is a hidden gem for sure. Okay, so I've got three more to finish out the video. The next one is perfect for this aesthetic. It is Ginger Biscuit. Oh my gosh, the bottle is so cute and I, fell in love with this perfume when it first came out years ago and I never bought a bottle and then it disappeared. And then I sprung and got it when it popped back up into stores earlier this year or later this summer. So this smells like, to me this smells like a combination between a ginger biscuit and a gingerbread cookie. So lots of baking holiday spices. So in addition to the ginger, you have nutmeg and cinnamon. Those give it a warmth, but the ginger definitely gives it a, a nice, fresh zinginess. My only complaint is that the performance is terrible, but I have found a couple of perfumes to layer with this one to get it to last. Yesterday, actually, I paired it with Vanilla 28 by Kayali, and it did so much better, and it added kind of this nice, boozy vanilla quality. So you could add, I would basically add several different vanillas to it to change it up a bit, tweak it and improve its longevity. So, so a great perfume with terrible performance. The next one, I think this was in my 10 out of 10 fragrances. This is a perfect, this is an amazing 10 out of 10 ambery vanilla. And it is one of my favorite from Amouage. Amouage and I, we have a tumultuous relationship. Some of Amouage fragrances are the worst things I've ever smelled. 
and I have some homage fragrances that I love this one right at the top of the list so again this is an ambery vanilla with some spices it does have incense but it has a beautiful smoky incense that's in the background it's warm, it's woody, it's resinous. It has patchouli in it, but it's not a patchouli bomb or a patchouli overload. And it's got this warm, woody base. The performance on this is fantastic. This one is not going to leave my collection for a long, long time. I adore it. I need to wear it more, but it, to me, it is a dressed up fragrance. I don't wear this when I'm sitting around in a casual sweater, even though I could. This, there's something just more elevated about it and it has great performance and great longevity. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the last one. The last one is truly a cinnamon fragrance. In fact, this is a cinnamon bomb and it's called Horchata de Vani by Sphinx Fragrance. I had showed this in a previous video and my one complaint with these Sphinx bottles is that they did not have the name of the fragrance on the bottle, which was a big no no in my mind because i have three of these that have this pinkish reddish hue and by looking at it sometimes you can't tell the difference i think they had changed it which was very needed so that's a great thing so this one is supposed to smell like a horchata and it is just it doesn't smell like a realistic horchata but it does smell very cinnamony so it smells like a cinnamon hot milk with a little bit of maybe a rice milk or a rice cream in the background but you absolutely must be a lover of cinnamon for this one. And I am. I do like cinnamon. I like all those baking spices. So it is sweet and very cinnamony. My one complaint is maybe there's something in it, and I don't know if it's in the late opening or the early dry down. I get something the slightest bit synthetic, but doesn't last forever. It starts off very, very strong, and then it kind of slowly moderately fades over time it's not a beast mode doesn't last forever it becomes a skin scent at around hour five to six but if you love cinnamon like a milky sweet lactonic cinnamony fragrance you definitely should get your nose on it and they do offer samples on their website so that's it that's my video on the cinnamon girl or cinnamon guy aesthetic for those of us who love those warm spicy cozy slightly sweet fragrances that we love to wear in the colder months if you have any great fragrances that would fit that aesthetic and i didn't mention them let me know or let us all know in the comments down below and again if you're interested in receiving this 10 ml travel spray of Victorian Vanilla by Coastal Carolina Scents, let me know in the comments below. And speaking of which, I have a lot of PR extras that have been given to me and I plan on doing like giveaways for the rest of the year. And so everybody's welcome. You, everybody's welcome to take part. You have to be a subscriber. That's not that hard to do. <laughs> you have to be a subscriber because this is me thanking you for supporting my channel. And what I'm gonna to start to do is if I recognize your name, you show up to my videos and you always comment below, I'm gonna put your name in twice as an extra thank you. It makes this whole YouTube thing much more fun when I get to know you guys in the comments. And it does, it helps my channel and it helps me grow. And so with that, so if you like my content, feel free to give me a thumbs up, like the video, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. And with that, I'll see you on the next one. And if you have any theme videos you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments below and I will put it on my list.